This video will explain the two-slit experiment using quantum atom theory. In the two-slit experiment, the quantum particle wave will expand in all possible routes, going through both slits. Between the plate with the two slits and the screen, the quantum particle wave will take all possible routes. When they reach the screen, they will create the interference pattern and also a new moment in time as particles. In quantum atom theory, the continuum of time is created by the continuous collapsing and forming of the quantum particle wave function. When we try to determine which slit the photon passes through, the interference pattern collapses. This is because at that moment we create a new moment in time, the moment of now, in the eye of the observer. Just like in Newton's first law of motion, the interference pattern will continue to maintain its state unless acted upon by an external force. The only problem is the external force can only see one moment of infinity. We can see this process of the forming and collapsing of the quantum particle wave function happening all around us in our everyday lives. In this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight, the particle wave duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. Because of this process, she has free will to create her own reality within her own space-time. This is a continuous process within our universe that Einstein called stimulated emissions. In quantum atom theory, this process creates the arrow of time. Time only moves forward because the probability of the wave function only works one way. We always know the position and momentum of a particle in the past. This is a diagram of an electron photon coupling. When we look down into the atom, we can only see probability. In quantum atom theory, this is because of time dilation between the observer and the subatomic world. The subatomic particles are frozen in time relative to the observer's own space-time. All the observer will ever see is the probability of possible future events. Only when an electron and photon come into contact and create a new photon of light will the observer and the subatomic particles have the same time frame. At that moment in time, two-dimensional space upon the surface of the atom expands into three-dimensional space-time. The new photon will expand out from the atom in all possible directions as a new quantum particle wave. In this theory, light is a constant, independent of the motion of the source, because time is expanding at the same rate that light moves. We have entanglement because photons move through space, but not time. The polarization or spin of two photons will be set at the creation of its own expanding quantum particle wave function. This will remain the same however great the distance between them becomes. In quantum atom theory, energy equals mass, linked to the Lorentz contraction of time. The more energy or mass, the slower time runs. Because the Lorentz contraction is infinite, this equation is a set of infinities within infinity, a time within a space-time, a square within a square, a rhyme within a rhyme. 